All right, guys, so right now we are cleaning the cars and getting ready to pack them both up. Tito's packing his car up. Yeah, that's why I kept the blanket. Yep, yep. Can you see him in there? Oh, <laughs> oh I can get everything in my bag. Yes, it's so. Hi. Yeah, so we're just cleaning out the cars right now, and then we're gonna pack them up. up since like 6 30 it's 7 30 right now i'm doing the final cleaning wipe down my husband's out getting breakfast and some ice for the cooler so we can put our refrigerated stuff in there um, as i was cleaning the fridge and freezer yesterday i just ended up donating all our freezer food because i didn't want them to melt and stuff so yeah do you guys want to go say bye to your room it's your last time seeing it. Come on. Okay. Okay. But yeah, everything on this side of the house is completely clean. I'm not going to clean that side of the house until all the kids and the dog are done with coming in and out of the house. So once my husband comes back, we're going to pack the kids up and I'm going to do a final mop. Bye. You love your room? You gonna miss it? The house smells super good because I'm cleaning all morning. But this is this is literally all we have left to pack. Is this stuff? This was my hair stuff and I needed it this morning so I didn't pack it. And then this is what we slept with. So besides that, we packed up the rest of the car last night. Both cars last night. So, so crazy. I feel like time flew by. Like this past year has definitely flew by so quick. We have so many good memories in this house. My son was brought into this house. We got a dog in this house. All the birthdays, all the celebration. Like We're definitely going to miss this house. Okay, I had to step out because the kids are too excited right now. But um, like I was saying though, we're definitely gonna miss having our own spot. Um, it's a bittersweet moment. I love this house, but I knew deep down this wasn't like my dream home almost but it wasn't quite there so we're gonna sacrifice the next year and a half to save up for our dream home and i can't wait i'm so excited and the good thing too is we get to be surrounded by family we've been gone for so long since my husband's in the army we've been gone so long and further so we see less and less people we're gonna say our last goodbyes my husband just pulled up I'm gonna finish cleaning really quick and yeah he's a little grumpy cuz he woke up bright and early didn't you <laughs> Hi. The kids are wearing their pajamas because we want them to be comfortable. It's super cold outside for one, and two, we're gonna be driving for so long, by the time we get out there, it's gonna be nighttime anyways. So we're most likely just gonna go straight to sleep. So there's no point of changing them. We're just gonna let them be comfortable and warm. We had to put the flagpole back. Done. 
Want to have one last kiss at our first house? We are out of here. Your lips are so warm. No, I'm just playing. I miss this house. Just fucking with it. All the work I did to it. <laughs> Going to waste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he made the house though. So. It is. All right, time to go. We gotta go sign some paperwork. All right, guys. So we just finished signing our paperwork to finally close on the house. Now we are turning in all our Wi-Fi boxes, and then after that, we gotta drop off this extra garbage. We'll probably go to Walmart because we have to buy some milk for the baby. Probably buy some Lunchables and stuff too for the road. Our realtor, she's so sweet. She got all the kids a little gift for closing. Can I see your toys? You got a dinosaur. Mulani got a Barbie. And then the baby got a little learning toy. Keep them busy. Okay, so my husband just got back to his car, so we're about to head out. I think he's about to tell me something. Good? What garbage? Yeah. Awesome. I love you. What garbage? Holy <laughs> dad. I love you. He's all hyper. He acts like a kid sometimes. I wish you could see how you parked right now. I know how I parked. <laughs> eight feet of space right here oh uh, you want to turn in don't worry yep it's gonna hit the back of my car when you turn in too uh -oh. let's get it from this angle everybody else's car is six feet that way okay guys so it is the next morning we had a long drive so i wasn't really on my camera at all the kids were acting crazy because they were so excited they didn't even want to be in the car either because we had to wake up so early so it was a hectic drive the first time ever that our drive has been completely hectic like they were going at it the entire time but we are here and we are happy and I'm so excited the kids are with their grandma right now I have the baby he just literally fell asleep so I decided to turn on the camera and talk to you guys really quick. The signing went perfect. Everything went perfect. I cleaned the house right before we left. So everything went good when they did their final walkthrough. Um, after we did our signing, we had to turn in all our Wi-Fi boxes, throw out some extra garbage, and then we hit the road. 20 minutes before we got to the new home, the kids had all fell asleep except for my daughter because she had took a long nap so it worked out perfectly as soon as we got into the house all the kids just like laid down and yeah we are so excited to be out here it does suck though that my husband he is out here for the week or for like five days luckily um he starts school on the sick so he's already like somewhat being replaced by somebody else so they didn't really care if he took leave again so we got super lucky i know last video i said he wasn't going to be able to but like i said like we just ended up getting super lucky so i'm thankful for that we get to spend this last week with him he's going to help me set everything up in the house and then he'll leave and we got to plan out visiting and stuff it's going to be super hard i think that's going to be the hardest part is not being around him for the next three months he's not going to officially move out here until the very last week of january early february so that's gonna suck but like i said we're gonna be visiting as much as we can thing worked out good it was a very bittersweet moment that was our first home that we bought together some people like asked us like what was the point of buying the house like if we were gonna sell it in my opinion because i'm super big on like buying like investing in properties and stuff like i've always wanted to do that it was a smart decision for us financially to actually buy the house and then sell it you know instead of just renting it like by buying it and then selling it we got our money back 
plus some more money you know so it was definitely worth buying it and it was great having something that was our own for the time being husband he's a big renter he he wants to rent everything he hates owning stuff well he used to but now he's like on the owning side too but like i hate having to like rely on other people like i absolutely love like it does suck that you have to fix stuff on your own sometimes but at the same time like that's that's what i love to do like if something happens it's on us like we can fix it when we want to however we want to you know like we don't have to rely on anybody so i'm definitely gonna miss that the next year and a half two years um that we didn't have to rely on anybody we always had our own space never had to be bothered if we didn't want to it's just a lot of pros that come with moving back to Illinois closer to family with family you know the kids will be able to play with their cousins their uncles I'm gonna keep you guys completely updated on all the great things all the bad days you know like you guys will be updated we're still young so this is like the time for us to build ourselves and build ourselves financially also and then move into our dream home or dream area that's the thing too is like we're not really sure exactly where we want to live like my husband he wants to go to texas and i actually always wanted to move to texas when it was just me and my son and tito like we always talked about moving to texas but as i get older and as my kids get older i don't want to be that far away from family anymore like i kind of want to be close not super close but close i mean this next year and a half we're gonna be super close but that's the thing also like we don't know our location yet of where we want to settle down so this next year and a half two years that's really what we're gonna be figuring out is where we want to live like how close how far do we want to own a bunch of land with nothing around it do we want to live in a neighborhood where we have neighbors back to back like super close you know like we have to figure all that stuff out and it was nice buying a property because we got to because you know I'm like I'm super shy and stuff so I don't really like talking to a lot of people but like now that I have kids and they're getting older and I want them to have friends I wished we were we would have moved into a neighborhood where like it was super friendly our neighborhood was friendly but like we moved into a neighborhood where like everybody was older than us like like grandma older like not a rude way but they were like grandma older so we never like really had any interactions with our neighbors so like I wish we would have moved into a place where we had neighbors who had kids so we can like meet them and hang out and stuff you know so now we can think about stuff like that also like that's not something we were thinking about when we first bought the house so it's a lot of things that we've noticed over this past year and a half by buying that house that we're gonna think about now when we buy our next house or build our next house that too we're still talking about because of covid like building a house takes so much longer so that's why we're still on the fence about building or buying like when the time comes to move if we find a perfect house like our dream home and it's already built like, then we're just gonna buy that instead of building our own you know so yeah that's that's the plan i'm super excited my husband's super excited the kids are extremely happy like they're surrounded by so much family they're getting so much attention so they're super happy but yeah i'm gonna close out the video now i'll see you guys next video bye my uncle just